What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today it is Friday and usually I like to do a fish and chip Friday but it's kind of a fish and chip Friday but when you don't like fish. <laughs> so it is Harry Ramsden's however it is a steak pie chips and mushy peas. I did get a request in one of my older videos I can't remember which one it was I couldn't find it otherwise I would have been trying to put it here somewhere um, but it was, I can't remember who it was, let me know in the comments if it was you, but they asked me to try the steak pie. The only issue was it's four quid. So I thought I'll wait for it to be reduced and I waited and I waited and I waited and it never got reduced. So I paid four quid for it. It does say it serves two, so that is it. We are going to put it with the Harry Ramsden's chip and the remainder of the Harry Ramsden's mushy peas from the review that is out a few days back. So we're going to have pie, chips and mushy peas. Ooh, can't wait. Let's hope it is really, really nice. So let's have a look at this pie box. So there it is. Harry Ramsden's world famous fish and chips. Steak pie serves two. 400 grams. And it says, it, well, the serving suggestion, my apologies, is uh, chips and mushy peas. So that's what we're going to get. That's what we've gone for. It looks really, really full. So it says, when it comes to good on his food, Harry Ramsden certainly knows a thing or two. Today, nearly 100 years after founding, we are as passionate as ever about bringing you delicious food that the whole family will enjoy. We've worked hard to adapt our famous recipe for your kitchen so that you can enjoy Britain's favourite food, oven baked. 400 grams puff pastry filled with slow cooked diced beef and onion gravy sauce. Only issue, it takes 55 minutes to an hour in the oven. Mm. That is the full ingredients there. So puff pastry 39%, slow cooked diced beef 30%, which is quite a lot for a pie really. You've got allergens of milk, wheat, barley, and this is the nutritional information per half a pie. 500 calories per half a pie. 28 grams of fat, 24 grams of protein. It's got a GB sticker there, and that is about it. So it says keep frozen or best before, uh, do not refreeze after defrosting. I have defrosted it, so this to bring this time down a little bit. So, because obviously the uh, the beef is already cooked, it's been slow cooked. So, let's get it open. Here we go. Ooh, fancy. So there it is. Four quid. Now it puts into perspective the um, the Aldi family pie, the chicken dinner pie I did a few days back. Because that's half the price of this. But it's probably twice the size. But we'll judge this on its own merit. And we'll get it in the oven for 55 minutes. So there's around five minutes left of cooking now. The pie, you can smell the aroma in this kitchen now. You can really smell that steak pie. The chips have been put in and they are cooking together now. Five minutes left, they should be coming out absolutely perfect. I'm not going to hob the uh, mushy peas this time. I'm going to microwave them and see if they turn out any better or worse. Just enough time for you to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notify bell so you don't um, miss any uploads. And if you like it, like it. Subscribing is totally free by the way, totally free. It's not like a magazine subscription, it costs nothing, nada, zero, nit. So, do it now, and then we'll get into this pie. So it is ready, and there we go. Look at that. It has risen very well, this pie. And there they are, Harry Ramsden's Maris Piper chips. So, I'm actually going to cut it in half. We'll have a little look inside and then I'll put it on a plate and we'll eat it.
So I was going to sit at the table and eat this, however, school is just finished now and my daughter and my niece are both coming home, so they're going to be uh, piling in and it was, I'll just get disturbed. So I'm just going to have a taste now and uh, yeah, probably finish it while I'm editing it. So it looks unbelievable and the smell, oh my god, you can see the onions in there, proper nice massive pieces of steak. So we'll just start with the chip first, on its own. Wow. Chips are beautiful. Really. Really fluffy on the inside. Perfectly crispy on the outside. Beautifully salted and vinegar by myself. We'll try these peas microwave this time. Yeah, they're the same as when they were on the hob. Absolutely fantastic. Real nice chip shop mushy peas. Can't beat them. Right. Let's get into this pie. I'm going to bring it a bit closer. But look at this. Look in there. Oh my god. Massive pieces of like steak the pastry is all puff pastry on the top really nice look at that look at that fucking pastry it's gonna be red hot but i'm gonna get into it anyway mm. oh wow that gravy is rich you can see look at this massive chunks of steak, look at that, oh wow, melts in your mouth that does, all these onions, gravy, mm. this is fantastic, I was thinking about maybe needing to add more gravy, you know, the gravy on the top. I mean, you can never have too much gravy. <laughs> as a Northern, as a Yorkshireman, we always say you can't have too much gravy, you can drink gravy. But there is plenty oozing out of this pie to make it for your chips, for everything. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to say, This is the best pie and chips I've ever had at home. At home. I can't think of one that beats it outside of home, to be honest. But you do get some nice ones in the pub lunches, don't you? Pub grub. This is fantastic. Four quid, though. Four pounds. Look. All the meat. That is the only downside. That that the um <clears throat> Harry Ramson's chips are two pound a bag. The mushy peas were forty p. So I probably put about a fifth of the bag in, so that's probably 40 pence worth of chips there. Probably, well, 20p for the mushy peas, the other half, so that's 60 pence, and half the pie, so that's £2.60 that. So £5.20 for two people, pie, chips and peas, well no, £5, that's six quid, but that's pie, chips and peas for two people. So that's 2 60 on its own. You know what? That's not too bad that, the taste, it really delivers. That's, that's a bit of me is that to be honest. Now I am planning on going out 
this week and hopefully the weather stays like this I'm going out to, to get a pie from a train station it's, they're calling this place the pie minister and it looks phenomenal but you're going to be paying 11 quid there so this is like a third of the price so you've got to, you've got to ask yourself what do you want to do and if you obviously you've got no I've got no, when you go out you've got no washing up or anything like that with this you've got to wash up you've got to make it yourself I don't know it's 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 so what I'm trying to say is um, I feel like it's like it's dining out sort of quality of food but dining in at home which is what you want when you're paying them premium prices you want dining out quality on your kitchen on your on your dining room table so yeah we recommended this thank you very much it was a fantastic I'm probably gonna have the other half of that pie now <laughs> so I hope you all have a fantastic weekend I'll be back tomorrow with another video and next week I've got something planned where hopefully you'll be excited about. Take care and I'll uh, catch you tomorrow.